When it comes down to it, 3D printers are actually pretty dumb machines. All I know how to do is follow the commands that you send to it when you slice your 3D file in your slicing program. This creates what's called G-Code, a very widely used numerically controlled or NC programming language, which has a set of waypoints and commands that tells the 3D printer exactly what to do. When you send files to your 3D printer, you might have noticed that at the start and finish of the print, it does various things, like it might home itself, or it might extrude a bit of plastic to prime the nozzle, or it might even present the part by moving the bed forwards at the end of the print. These are called start and end G-code scripts, and today's 3D Printing 101 is going to be all about how you can create your own and modify them to get the best prints possible. Let's get started. Welcome back to 3D Printing 101 here on Makers Muse, guys. So before I get started, I need to stress that this is not going to go into detail on G-Code, what it is and how to use it, because that's a very advanced topic. Instead, this is more of a beginner's guide to start and end G-Code scripts in your slicing software and how you can better understand them and make tweaks as necessary. So keep that in mind. If you do understand what G-Code is, this video might be a bit basic for you, but let's dive into it. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna add a process within Simplify 3D. And I'm just going to grab a random one. For example, my Wanhal duplicator i3 process here. Like that. So this is a menu you'll be very familiar with within Simplify 3D on how to tweak your settings in your print. But I'm going to show you a menu that you probably haven't even visited before. If you go along here towards the right, we have scripts. And scripts are very important because this is where we can alter our start and end G-code scripts. So what happens is when we slice our file, Simplify 3D will insert the starting script here, and at the end of the G-code, after the print's complete, it will insert an ending script. Now there is a few other scripts you can use, such as layer change, where it will fire off a script every layer, retraction, as well as tool change if you're running multiple print heads. But we're not going to go into those in this video because they're a little bit more advanced. So let's have a look at the starting script for the Wanhal Duplicator i3. So here we have a G-code G28. And what G28 does for most printers is they will home the axes, which means the print head will move its X, Y, and Z coordinates to be at home position. So you'll notice there's also a semicolon here and home all axes, that's a comment. So if you're doing G-code, you can comment on what you're doing so people can more easily understand what you've actually done. So I'm gonna show you here what that actually will look like. All right then, so that's what G28 looks like. Let's have a look at the ending script for the Wanhao i3. So what it's gonna do is G28, but here, instead of homing everything, it's only homing X0. You can see G28 X0, it's only gonna home the X axis. And this is good at the end of your print because you don't want the print head to be just stopped right at the last layer of your print because then you'll ooze a little bit. It might stick to the part as the nozzle cools down. And yeah, you generally want to move the nozzle out of the way when the print finishes. And then M104S0, it's turning off our extruder, which is important. We don't want our extruder staying hot after the print's complete. And then M140S0, it's turning off the bed heating as well. And then finally, M84 means it's going to disable the stepper motors. So when the print's moving, the stepper motors are energized. They do warm up and take current to keep them locked in position. But when the print's complete, it doesn't need to do that anymore. So it will turn them off to save power. Other common G-code commands include G0 and G1. These are movement commands and used interchangeably within Marlin firmware. So in the example G0x20, the extruder would move to the coordinate 20 millimeters in the X axis. You may also want to employ M106, which controls the extruder cooling fan speed using the S modifier for zero being off and 255 for full speed. So for example, entering M106 S0 into your end script would turn your fan off once the print is complete. And just in the off chance that this sort of stuff really interests you, I highly recommend checking out this humongous list on the RepRap wiki. So this is a G-code list for almost every firmware version out there, keeping in mind that not all codes work for every printer firmware, but it will say which works for which. So here we got the, the movements. So obviously the movements work for every firmware listed here. But then for example, M600, which is a filament change pause here, which I have been starting to use on the Prutra i3 Mark II, you can see that it only works for some firmwares. So 
even though this stuff's very interesting and it, it is very much opening a can of worms if you decide to dive into it, I'm not going to go into it any more further in this video. But if you do want to learn more about different G codes you can try on your printer, hit this list up. I'll leave a link in the video description. So thanks for watching guys, hope you found this video useful and I hope it demystified what start and end scripts are and hopefully you get an idea of what you can start tweaking. So as I said at the start of this video, this is by no means meant to be an introduction into the wonderful world of G-Code. It's more meant to show you what your printer is doing before and at the end of each print and what you can change to get the best prints possible. And a big thanks to Simplify 3D for sponsoring this video here on Makerspews and I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Catch you later guys, bye.